Well, early this morning, we we're off to a warm and humid start. Still feeling that way as those temperatures climb, really making it feel like summer in time for that first day of meteorological summer. That kicks off today, June 1st. That summer heat will continue to dominate as we also continue to see that chance for isolated showers and thunderstorms. Luckily, right now we are dry. We even saw a couple of those isolated showers this morning. You'll notice bulk of that activity stays further west into Iowa and it'll likely stay there. We still have that chance, however, into your afternoon and evening. Temperatures are only going to continue to climb. As of right now, a lot of us into the upper 80s. 87 degrees in Monroe, 85 in Sublette, 82 for Rockford. We'll continue to reach for those upper 80s. Some may break into the low 90s. We are really heating things up today, and on top of that, it's a little muggy out there. Dew points also into the 60s, 70 degrees for that dew point in Roscoe. Definitely feeling that humidity closer to the state line. We'll continue to see these muggy and warm conditions as we stay dry, but we are also seeing that increase of those warmer temperatures. Here's a neat graphic from our friends at Climate Central. You'll notice over the last couple of decades, we are experiencing about 10 degrees of above average temperatures, leading to more warmer summer days. We might end up seeing longer summers moving forward as we continue to see this warming trend. We are going to end up seeing that slowly start to grow even more so as that trend moves forward. So that's something to look out for. And for as of right now, we have an update for that drought monitor. You're seeing about three quarters of the state abnormally dry conditions, also seeing that moderate drought develop for some. Here in the state line, we're just seeing those abnormally dry conditions developing in the yellow for majority of our area. Something to keep an eye on as we are going to stay dry moving forward. We do have that low chance today and even tomorrow, but really not going to be a rainmaker. A lot of us may even dodge the activity completely. By 2 o'clock, we are right near 90 degrees. Then we see that chance for isolated activity to move in as your temperatures slowly start to drop. That's what you're seeing here on future track. Very isolated in nature. Notice some areas not seeing a whole lot of activity. Here's just before five o'clock. Taking you through the evening, we hang on to that chance. Very widespread in nature when it comes to that isolated chance. And a lot of that slowly starts to fizzle out overnight as we stay dry early Friday morning. Temperatures, though, still back near 90 degrees this afternoon. Holding on to that chance for isolated showers and thunderstorms. So keep an eye on that. Might run into one of those showers as we drop into the 60s overnight. Hanging on to some cloud cover as that activity exits. It'll lead us to a dry start to your Friday, but we still hang on to that low chance tomorrow and the low 90s. We see the same into Saturday. The only difference is this weekend we stay dry. Plenty of sunshine. We are slowly going to drop back into those 80s as we get into next week. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we slowly start to fall into those lower 80s by Tuesday. More comfortable, I'd say. Still seeing lots of sunshine and still little to no chances for rain, Manny.